This is a visualization for flight on-time performance of the United States in 2016. The main interface is a map showing all the airports in the U.S. They are clustered into three groups, small airports, medium airports, and large airports. You can hover over any of the airports to see the name and the city and click to see the details. Moreover, you can also use the search bar to search for an airport. Add a code, a KO code, and name of the city will all be accepted as keyword. In the map, there are lines indicating flights to and from that airport. In the panel to the right, you can find information like municipality, coordinate, and elevation, and statistics like flight count, average delay, delay rate, and cancel rate of that airport. In the bottom, there is a donut chart showing the percentage of causes of delays of the specific airport. Some airports do not have operation data, just like Provo. Only basic information will be displayed for these airports. And check Show All Airports to filter out those airports. Click Clear Map to clear out the lines in the map. You may also change the geographic map to a node link map, where one node indicates an airport and the links indicate the flight connections. Airports are colored by their average departure delay time. We can see Salt Lake City did a pretty good job in on-time performance, and that Atlanta is a critical node with a bunch of flight connections. The two maps are connected together. Clicking on one will also affect another. Right below are the statistical charts for that airport. They will change value as you select different airports. Click the title to collapse or expand the panel. Within each part, there are four charts, outbound flight distribution, inbound flight distribution, departure and arrival delay, and percentage of causes of delay. Those four charts are illustrated monthly, daily, and hourly respectively in these three parts. The last part is a hierarchy layout showing the flight connections of the United States. Airports are grouped by states. You can hover over the airport to see the details as well as the city it connects to. Red line indicates a two-way connection, while yellow and green line indicate inbound and outbound connections respectively. For Washington Dulles International Airport, we can see there are outbound flights to San Antonio, inbound flights from Jacksonville, and two-way flights to and from some other airports. Last but not least, this is also a responsive website which not only supports your PC and Mac perfectly, but also your portable devices as well. If you are interested, please follow the link to visit my website. Thank you for your watching.